Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 37, getting towards the end of August and towards Labor Day. And of course, if you've been following along, you know what that means. Um, as always, those of you that aren't able to attend right now can watch this uh, thing later when it's uh, because it's recorded and will be posted on YouTube. Um, how you find that out is you know up to you. Anyway, the agenda today, triage, um, like we always do, that will probably be interesting because we've had more bugs come in than we'd probably like. And then, as always, I think we're going to have this open discussion on progress until we are complete with progress, on at least on WIS 3.9. And then, as always, we'll open it up for questions, comments. Bob, triage, ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Off to the website. And look at that, seven bugs. How exciting is that? <sighs> Too many bucks, and I've lost my mouse. Lovely. Just got it there. Okay, I got one. All right. Uh, can't open projects if wild cards are used in item specification. This is a votive thing. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, and comment. I swear there's a. Oh, this is an old bug. I see. There's this a. Is, yeah. Someone brought it back. Oh. Um. Is there a plan to bring the feature back? Sure, it's open. Well, it was open. I assume it was open. It yes. was. Cool. It's open. So we can go back and put it as open, and yes. And if someone wants to fix it, they can. All right. Burn installation does not resume after restart, which we thought we had fixed. Whoa. Big old log file inside the text of the comment. Yes. Yeah. So this, this one is... Fine. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I tracked it down. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't verified whether this is a new bug or, or not. The the code's very similar, so I'm not. Uh, I, I haven't tried to compare it against, say, th uh, three seven. Um, but it, it's it's bad behavior. Basically, uh, s certain chunks of the command line are getting duplicated, added to the command line uh, basically once every time you call plan. Now in, in Wix standard BA, plan is only called once, but uh, it's perfectly legal to call it more than once. Yeah. And the code right now does not accommodate that. Well, All right. So I wish this was a different bug. Um... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's in the same code path. So, yeah. Oh, the issue is resolved, but there's one strange thing. Yeah, I wish this was a different bug. Oh, well. Um, all right, so the restart thing is fixed. Now we have a bug that if you call plan multiple times, bad things happen to the command line. Yep that could have been in there for a long time. So, uh, 3.9? Yeah, I think, I I was, yeah, I was thinking what you were thinking, as in questioning whether it's a 3.9 bug. Um, the problem I see is that the, uh, if you change your plan, sorry, oh, if you change okay. your planned action, then you're at the mercy of the command line parser to determine the, the, the precedence of the action switches. Right. So stepping back, I agree this is a bug. All right. It yes. should have been a new bug, not this bug. Maybe we oh. should do that. You know? Mm, yeah, sure. I'm just, you know, just to keep it clean, because it's a little confusing, because this isn't about restart anymore. This is about the command line parsing not being... Getting lucky on the command line parsing. At least it's appending the same log file. Okay. All right. So, all right. So the new issue that we have here about not getting the command line correct if you call plan multiple times mm -hmm. is a bug. Yep. Is it a three nine bug? Um, yes, is my vote. Okay. Because it's it's again it, it's if it, other than the the precedence issue I would I would probably defer the bug because it otherwise is harmless but if you change the action that you're planning you end up with 
you know, modify at the beginning of the command line and then repair at the end, for example. All right. So I, I, I totally agree with that, which is the bug. Is it not? Is that not a 3.10 issue, or is it something we're fixing in 3.9? That's the only thing I'm asking. Right. I'm I'm suggesting it, it's serious enough that it should go into 3.9. Now, Jacob brings up a good point, which, you know, has this existed in the past? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know the answer to that. Probably it would change my mind if it was a long-standing bug. Um. And it might yet change my mind if if the fix is is scarier than I think it is, for example. Um, all right. So opening a new bug, yes, no? Or you just want to carry this one forward? Uh I don't really care. I don't want to okay. lose the log. No, um, I, I understand that. Uh, I'll take. A, I can open a new bug if I can transfer the text over, but you should you know. build. That should not be too hard to do. Because I mean, it's just text, so it should just copy and paste. Fine. No, oh, it's badly formatted text. Well, if you wanted to fix the formatting, you could do that. But yes. Anyway, um, golly, that's a big long log. Not a small product, I guess. Um, all right. Well, I'm. If you want to take a three nine, I'm not against. I'm not going to argue that. Um, yes, yeah. Jacob. The, the problem is that core recreate command line is called multiple times. And each time it appends. I, I think the fix is when you reset the plan, it should also reset the the resume command line. Right now, we just reset the. This is bad encapsulation. Right now, we reset the plan, but the resume command line, which is dependent on the plan, is owned by the engine. It's, yeah. It's a it's a bit of a mess, but I think that that's the right fix. It makes sense. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me that we've got some stuff stuck together here. Yeah, that has changed over time, not in in mass. Yes, for sure. Uh, the arguments that aren't engine arguments are stored separately, so we have that. We have all the all custom switches stored yeah. separately. Yeah, so it's just a matter of overriding the part that is bringing in the append and the modify or repair part instead of that, appending to it. Well, that's core recreate command line. Ah, okay. It handles all the ancestor, parent. Yes, all that. Restart, all that stuff. Yeah, all right. So, again, I'm... I'm, I'm all for it. Is that where the fix was for the run once? That, as well? Uh, I do not recall. Yeah, okay. I didn't remember off the top of my head either. All right. So I'm fine taking it 3.9. Um, I think it's a different bug. That's my, I guess that's the, my strongest feedback is I think it's a new bug, but that's, <laughs> I, and the only reason I think breaking in as a separate bug is a good idea is, is in case this gets bumped to 3.10. That's all. Because if it doesn't get bumped to 3.10, then this is going to turn into a very screwy bug to follow. But that's it. I, I will create a new bug. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So new bug that will be opened in 3.9. Yes. Until further review. Burn should have a relationship type for when child bundles call their parents. Yes. This is what we discussed last week. Yep. Um, yes. And 3x. I'm fine with 3x. Yeah, right, because we don't want 3 at 9, and we have to think about the implications of this, right? We should be able to add this. This should be additive. Yeah. I think so. I think so. I, I'm not I, I'm not in, anticipating that we'll do it in 310. 
Um, but right. it's, it's if only, only rule out. right. And if we right, and if you run against like a three six bundle, like this original bug was all about, you just wouldn't get the additive stuff because it'd be a new command line switch that wouldn't parse. Right. And then everything would be fine. Yeah. So cool. I'm fine with this being a three ten later thing. Yeah. Yeah, works for me. Okay. Let's open my triage team. I, I presumed. Um. Yeah, bringing in the HTTP service or uh, ACL code probably would be totally reasonable. I wonder why Swan wants this now. I mean, there's already a custom action that does it all. Probably hasn't been updated, but anyway. Uh, we could totally take this in 3x. Totally additive. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Cool. And in fact, the other half was remove folder EX, which got in 3.6, I think. Yeah. Settings browser app runs elevated. Yes, we sh can take that in four. He's already sent a pull request for this that I have to think because he did it in a way that I didn't expect. So, yes. Uh, the custom action is a neat idea, if it works. Well, yeah, I, and I, I actually was talking to Mike about it, and I recommended the custom action idea because it should work just fine for him. But then he did it in a way that I didn't. I was like, really? You put it inside that? All right, fine. Well, I have to go think about it. Anyway. When you surprise me, it takes longer for me to go figure out what's going on. So That's reasonable. So no surprises. Um, anyway. MB prereq crashes when upgrading and having more than one support package. Well, crashing is not good. No, it's not. So it looks like Sean has already done some research. Uh, oh, yes. Keeping pointers to things that get modified, to arrays that get modified. Not a good idea. Add related bundle as package. Yeah, that whole adding related bundle stuff confuses all kinds of things. I think Burn had crashes like this inside it for this sort of thing. Oh, yeah, 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 because we have to insert into the middle. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. put it at the right point inside the list. Um, yeah, seems like something should take from 3.9, otherwise this feature is bad. Yeah. Yes. When upgrading, when upgrade, ah, right, when you are upgrading something else on the machine. Got it, yes, which is totally possible if you bring a new dominant framework, or even a new pre -run. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's not terribly unlikely. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, I, I'll take this for the moment. Uh, just to see if I can... Was. See it, yeah. Shouldn't keep track of the package at all and could should look up the package. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have a preference for how that should work. Hmm, yeah. Um, but yeah, it should go in 3x. You're going to take it, Bob, for now, and we'll see where it lands. Maybe Sean yeah, will be back. I'll take it into 3.9 and see if it's an easy fix. Yeah. Um, in either case, I'll, I probably would make the fix and ask Sean to, to take a look at it. At least, right? Yeah. Open file dialog and burn. External payloads. Yeah, SQL Express did really scurry things. Opens a file dialog. Dialog is internal, so I cannot configure its view, file name, or filters. Burn. Uh, burn doesn't. Wix standard BA, maybe. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, that you're right. This is a Wix standard BA issue. Which is fine. Is it possible? Uh, that image is toast. I can't see it. <laughs> My mouse is dead. Um, oh, yeah. Just a second. I can bring it up on another. <laughs> on another monitor, it is working. 
property. Come on, show me that URL. Did they, I'm just hoping they, they didn't wrap it correctly or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was able to get, get Good. to it. Um, there it is. P R W T E N U. That I don't understand why it would happen, but it's apparently just scrolled. Uh, the name is shifted to the right and partly visible. Why is it SQL? Oh, is it showing the ID? No, I. Hmm. Why isn't it showing .exe on the end or whatever it's looking for, or is it really looking for a file with no extension? No, it's it's isn't that the default to not show extensions? Oh, maybe I don't run like that. Um, I don't either because extensions are good things. I I never yeah I, okay so let's assume that's true. Then he wants to control what? It wants that file. He want I don't. Okay, so this is about changing the open file dialog. Right, and I, Wix standard BA doesn't expose any of that. Configure the dialog to set its size, position, caption, and file name and filters? No, why would you want to... It already gets... The caption is already the bundle title. Yeah. Size and position are going to be default. But, but the system sets that for all file open... I mean, it's a standard yeah. file open dialog. Right, 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 right. The filters, oh. I don't know why it would filter, because you have to find the one file. It's looking for a, a particular file. And it's already filtering for all files. You can't, you can't, it has to find that file. Right. It's probably going to be that file name. I don't know what it would, the filters would be. It would have to be that file name, right? No. It doesn't have to be that file name. It has to be that file. Okay, fair enough. You need to give it the file. <laughs> Wherever it may be, whatever name it may have, it needs that file. It doesn't care what it was called before. Yeah, the filters today is all files, which I'm not sure what you would filter it down to less than generally. If you want so, to allow any file that, you know, hash matches, then you can't restrict it. Yeah, I mean... We could limit it to the extension of that file, and but even then, and you'd have to set it per payload, because it probably right. would be different per payload. None of this is making any sense to me. So the 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 one issue is why is it showing up shifted? I have no idea. And it's a system dialog, so I would be Jacob. I don't know if you're looking at the code, but. Is it, I assume we're just doing something really straightforward with it. Uh, John's asking if it has an embedded null. Well, no, because he says the whole string's there. It's just scrolled a little bit to the right. Yes, on resolve source and with standard BA. That's where it would be. And the OFN has the standard stuff that you would expect. All right, well, I don't know what we do with this bug. Uh, thank you, Nell. Uh, meh, and move on. I... I think we give this guy the information that he can go like debug it. Like say, cool, this is a standard BA. You'll see that we're calling, you know, on resolve source is calling standard file open dialog. We don't see anything that allows us to control any of those other things, uh, to control how the text is selected and those rest of those things. We're not going to do all that for each payload and stuff like that. Right. Because currently, you know, searching for all files, any file would be that. I, th I think it's basically just saying. Yeah, it seems fine to us. 
you have a repro, if you can figure out some setting we're missing in file open dialog, then we'd be happy to fix it. But I don't think we need to do all those other things. Yes? Works for me. Cool. And then there was the 4486, which is going to get split into a separate bug, and that bug is going to be open in 3.9. And Not I think close, 4486. What's that? Not close, 4486. And 4486 will go back to being resolved. Yes. Awesome. Let's see if I can get to 3.8. On triage. Uh, open. Oh, right. We just looked at that one. And three eight. Open. Right. And three nine. Oh, I can take the fix. This is now fixed. I will go fix that. I still have to spend time with this one, but I don't know. I just haven't. I have no time. The size thing was easy. This is not. All right. And then there's that one, and probably another bug coming in. All right. All right, so that's 3.9. Which brings us to the next phase of our discussion. Progress. Notice this didn't change at all because we haven't made any final decisions on any of these things, I guess, at the moment. Um, so 3.9 finish. I want to throw a crazy idea out there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bob knows me too well. Um, and just to kind of get discussion going. So those of you that are not, or those of you that are muted, uh, get ready to uh, type fast your opinions and Bob, try not to scream. Um, okay, I'll mute myself right now then. <laughs> um, what if, what if we do 3.9 release on Halloween? That would be the next holiday. Yeah, and and basically take all the pressure of trying to get all this stuff off, let the bugs continue to come in, continue to do these small fixes, if they are small, like, as long as they stay small kinds of things, and just take the pressure off so that we can just go, look, there's been enough bugs, let's just let a whole another month go through of kind of seeing how it goes, and then that'll leave us October, where hopefully we're not every week looking at new bugs. Because right now, Labor Day, you know, feels like, hey, look, we just took a bunch of bugs, and we're going to release in another week kind of thing. Yeah, to, to be clear, uh, I didn't feel any pressure because the the holiday dates were just, you know, convenient. Labor yes. Day was convenient. Yes. Um, you know, I, I would always go by, by you know, our, our standard big time of, oh, look, it's been, you know, three weeks with no bugs. Yeah, and, and I guess where I'm coming from with Halloween that I'm throwing out there is because we've had enough of them in 3.9 that I feel like, you know what, let's just let this sit for a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yep. This has been a little more bumpy landing than we thought it would be. Why don't you guys all, like, you know, beat on this for a while? And, you know, you have all September to kind of get your stuff through. Yeah, so. that I'm 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 fine with that. I, I you know any I'd go so far as to say, you know, if we miss Halloween, it's you know not a not a killer thing. I don't want to drag it out, but I'm perfectly fine in in waiting until we've had that nice bake time and cooling on the windowsill or some other baking <laughs> metaphor that I I know nothing about. Because <laughs> you never turn your oven on. Um... I, I have not turned an oven on my own oven on in quite a while, yes. <laughs> um, so, Jacob, you have stuff in here. I'm looking for your thoughts. John, as often, has already made his opinion noted, which is very appreciative, which was, I don't know if it was yes or cool, but I'll take both of those as the same thing. There you um, go. <laughs> yes, cool. All right, so it was both. Um, Jacob's like... All right, so yeah, he's he's using his changes that he needs, so that's all good. 
I wish Sean was here, but I mean, we'll be back again next week talking about whatever bugs we have fixes for, hopefully, and whatever bugs have come in. Um, yes, so for I, I told so Jacob's point is it would be nice for others to get self updates. I totally agree that we want to get the release out, but we don't want to push it out there and then immediately have to be fixing three nine in that yeah. time frame. So that's why I was kind of going, eh, Halloween. All right, so so let's let's just kind of let that float for a while and see what happens. I mean, we'll we'll come back next week and see what the bugs look like. Um, I think Labor Day is aggressive. I think Halloween yeah. feels better of the yeah. Let's just not pick a date in September. Let's just let September ride and then see what happens in October, or see what happens in September and make decisions again in September, kind of thing. Yep. Yep. All right, so then on that front, I'd say that 3.10 can start when we have people that want to start pushing uh, um, stuff into it, which I don't see anybody hurrying for. And since we're kind of encouraging people to put stuff in 4 first, let's put stuff in 4 and kind of get prepped to put it in 3.10. Uh, yes, the, the only, yeah. Uh, so changing the dates, I think, does mean that we we need to start talking about how 310 works, um, you know, which is partly the mechanics. You know, I, I agree we want to start with features in four and merge them into three. Um, and also, you know, like what kind of changes are we are we going to take in 310? So we haven't had that 310 discussion yet, then. We have not. No, I mean, well, sorry, we've we've had we've some. talked about it briefly, but you know, it hasn't been like a, okay. No, really. I'm thinking. Yes. No, really. We really are rewriting everything in 310, right? Or whatever we're doing in 310. <laughs> uh, you uh, can do that. We're rewriting it all in Go, or whatever. I don't know. What's the cool language of right now? Ooh, Go would be okay. Yeah, I know. You've been looking at Go. Um, all right. So we'll need to talk about 310. Um, if not, ne I, I, let's. All right, I, let me put this stake in the ground. Let's say we talk about 310 after Labor Day, like that week of Labor Day. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, because if we're gonna miss Labor Day, then we'll come out and say, all right. So if we hash of 39, we'd be talking about 310, and since we're not, let's talk about 310. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we got, all right. Yeah. Which leads us back at four. Four is open. People can start putting their stuff in there. Um, we've have a whole bunch of things that people have talked about doing. Not seen a lot of movement yet. Um, I know I do need to do a 3.9 integration over it, but I hope that's not really holding people up. Um, if it is, um, let me know, and I will put it higher in my queue. This week has just been busy, but next week I think looks better. So I should be able to get it done next week. Um, and if we move the 3.9 timeline out to October, we don't have to move the 4.0 timeline, but I'm becoming skeptical that if we're going to do any of these features that the 4.0 timeline is going to happen. Uh, this year, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen, you know, early next year, like February, March. Yeah, Nothing ever happened in January, so right, right, right. Uh, February, March. Um, yeah, yeah. So what I need to do is go through my list of things and tag them as whether they need to be in 4.0 yes. because some, you know, they're a breaking change That's or right. they're they're foundational. Yep. Um, so, yes, I will. That's still on my list. All right. So we've talked about progress discussion. Did anybody else want to talk about anything else? Oh, silence. It's getting nice when we're kind of like anticipating everything everybody wants to talk about. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. <sighs> John's going to tell me no, and we're going to finish the meeting. Uh, making a prediction now, since we don't, we no longer have bug counts to bet on. No longer have bug counts to bet on. Oh, that's true. That was I missed those days a little bit. Only the betting, yeah. not the actual reviewing. Right, but yeah, no. <laughs> Triage is not fun. John's moving somewhere on Friday, so that doesn't mean anything to me. I, I guess. Oh, he wants. You want to discuss that? Um, moving office to. I don't even know what Lenexa is. I assume that's some town not too far from you. Uh, my geography is not up these days. Oh. Oh, it's a region of 
a place. Southern Kansas City. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Sorry, I was just thinking. Oh, Johnson County. I, my parents lived out that direction for a little while. Uh, what was the name of that? Harrisonville, which is south of Kansas City. That's where they lived for a while. Not southern Kansas City, but south of Kansas City. On the Missouri side. All right. We're now talking about the state of misery, which is long in my past. So, if that's all we got, you got anything else, Bob? Um, no, I'm good. You're good. I think we're good. Oh, Jacob's typing something. I wish there was some indication, like, in length of, like, a progress bar that tells you how far along the person is before they're going to finish and hit enter. That would require mind reading, now. If the end file offset needs to be populated. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Well, then, maybe. If zero isn't it's... enough. Or whatever. Well, Jacob, I, I don't have time to try it, but that would be cool. Oh, because it's the full path to the file. Interesting. So it's at the end. If you have a really long file name, it's there. Huh. Yes. Well, that's possible. What are we setting it to now? Zero? No, the length of the string. Zero by default, I think. Probably. Yeah, it would be initialized to zero, I hope. Unless it's being initialized to like some gigantic negative number or something like that. <laughs> if we're not initializing it to zero. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We did set it to zero. All right, well, um, I don't know. It's an interesting idea. I'm, I'm not sure... Uh, Eric is asking if anyone fixed that bug from last week, and the answer is no. I, nobody has fixed it yet. It's it's out there. Still, open, prepared for someone to, to work on it. Um, so I, I guess the, the question would be, if there was a fix for it, would it go in 3.9? And that would be a good thing to go get the fix and then open the bug for triage in 3.9, and we would talk about it next week. Um, so that we can look at the fix and go, oh my gosh, that's not scary or scary or whatever. Um, so, anyway. Hey, Jake, if you want to give that open file name thing a try, that would be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I can't say, I can't say I actually grok what, what they're, what they're although, actually talking about. It I'm doesn't sure. seem consistent with what we're seeing, though. Yeah, and I'm not even sure what we would set it to, like the beginning of the file name. I, yeah. <laughs> Eric added a suggested fix for it in the comment in the bug report. Like that's <laughs> here's my pull request. See <laughs> my comment in the bug. <laughs> it, it, I'm, Eric, I'm, if, I'm, if I cared more about about DTF and managed custom actions, I would actually that would be something I'd go. Oh, well, I'll try that. But <laughs> I, I don't have enough interest to you know to secure time from my uh, other fun stuff. Yes. <sighs> DTF should build just fine. I don't think it's that bad. It's not like, oh, it, and it should turn off the chum build by default. So, yeah, I don't think it's that bad to build. Um, all right. Well, given that, I think we've people can go try things if they want. But the last, oh, Jacob said put the offset at the last of the full path. Could do that, I guess. I don't know. I, I kind of like the whole the whole thing selected so you can just delete it and go search somewhere else. But maybe the, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, are we even passing in a full path? Or are we just passing in, um, oh, we're just passing in whatever the engine is telling us. 
we're passing. I'm, I I expect it's the a local, little path. We're passing in what the engine is telling us is the local source. Right, which will be a full path. Yeah. Which is why you get that populated path in the the top of that dialog. Oh right. Oh um, yeah. I'm not sure where it would. It probably open to the current folder, which of course would not be an interesting place for most BAs. It's looking. Yeah. Okay. It's presumably looking at the. An X64. Uh, wow. Well. Well, I mean, you know, he ran it from his local thing, and it was missing or something like that, and then he saw this, and he snapshot it, and all that. I mean, you know, it's all good. It's just a matter of what do we want to do with that? Yeah. And why did it select it funny like that? So anyway. Maybe it's, maybe it's buried somewhere in Raymond Chen's blog. If you do not press yes. this, then it will not give you that, and there you could do that. How do I break a local bundle to test? Uh, just don't compress your bundle. Say compress equals no, Jacob, and then move your files, your you know your other files to a subfolder. That's what I always do. All right. Well, on that note, you guys can have 20 minutes back, um, and I guess we'll see how the bugs roll from here and. We'll reconvene next week, which was is before Labor Day, right, Bob? Yes. So, yep, one more. Yeah. so we get one more week and see where that. Not that we're going to actually do anything special for Labor Day. You guys can all take it off. I'll be working because my boss says I'll be working. Um, and well, labor is right there in the title. Yeah, dude, totally, one hundred percent. It's a great day to go work on Wix if you were looking for something to work on your Labor Day. Um, no, <laughs> do as you wish. Um, and on that note, I think we're out. So until next week, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye now.